Now let us take a few more questions in the subjective type uh, in data structure and Gotham. So let us start. Uh, the first one is in a linked list with n nodes. We have linked list with n nodes. The time taken to insert an element after an element pointed by some pointer is. Now you have a linked list. There is say this one with some uh, pointer, element pointed by a pointer. Now you want to insert an element. What would be your answer? These are options for you. The answer would be order of one because now you have a pointer which is pointing here. So you just have to insert an element. So what you are going to do? You just have to insert an element for that. A node is there. A address is there. So if you want to insert here, you have to point this address to this one and the previous one address to this one. This is the simple thing. So the order of one, so it will be a cost in time uh, effort. Next is the data structure required to evaluate a postfix expression. Postfix expression to evaluate the um, data structure which is required to evaluate this postfix expression. Can you answer this? There are four options. The answer is of course stack. What happens here? See, whenever there is uh, some variable or values, you place it here. A, say I place A here, and I place B here. And then if some expression is there, I pop these three out and perform it. This is how stack works for postfix expression. Next is the data structure required to check whether an expression contains balanced parentheses is. Now, this is a very good question. You want to find out whether the parentheses are balanced or not. Will it be stack? Will it be any other? The answer is again stack, right? Because uh, you, whenever uh, you place a brace, or initial, then you will just uh, start placing things. And if you don't uh, actually find this braces, ending brace, then you will uh, say that it is not there. Otherwise, when it matches, then you will start with the other one. The stack will be used. The complexity of searching an element from a set of n elements using binary search algorithm is now you want to search using binary search algorithm. What would be? Will it be order of n n square or b and d are seem to be more promising. The answer is really B. In binary search, what we do, these are the set of elements. We go to the center one. So that is, we first divide n to n, then you divide it into two parts, equal parts, you make it n by two, then you make again n by uh, n by two to n by four. So it's two to the power n last time. So if you take this, take just as y or something, you will take a log and you'll find that the the time it takes is just order of log n. The number of leaves or leaf nodes in a complete binary tree of depth d is. We're talking about a complete binary tree, not a full binary tree. So now number of leaf node will be. Can you give me the answer? These are four options for you. The answer is two to the body. This is complete binary tree. Next is what data structure would you most uh, most likely see in non-recursive implementation of a recursive algorithm? This is a very important question. Now you have a recursive algorithm. You want to implement it using a non-recursive uh, way. So the data structure would, you would like to see in non-recursive implementation of a recursive algorithm. Now these are options for you. Can you answer? The answer is stack, of course. Recursion use stack. Which of the following sorting methods would be most suitable for sorting a list which is almost sorted? See, you have already a sorted element, a uh, sorted list. So these sort, which of these sorting methods would you would you use for sorting a list which is al almost sorted? Almost not. I'm not saying that it is uh, sorted. It is almost sorted. So the best would be bubble sort, right? The best would be bubble sort. Next is a B tree of minimum degree T can have maximum of dash pointers in a node. How much it will be? The answer is D. It will be only T. Right? T. So max minimum degree T can have maximum T pointers in a node. Now the next question is the process of accessing your data stored in a serial access memory is similar to manipulating manipulating the data on a dash. What is the answer? The process of accessing data stored in a serial access memory is similar to manipulating data on what? Is it heap, stack, queue, or binary tree? The answer would be stack. This is the process of accessing data stored in a serial access memory. 
that will be exactly your you know, similar to the stack manipulating data on a stack. Next is a graph with n vertices will definitely have a parallel edge or self loop if the total number of edges are. Graph with n vertices will definitely have a parallel edge or self loop if the total number of edges are self loop or parallel edge. The answer is greater than n minus 1. We definitely have all these two. Either this or either that. Next is uh, a BST is traversed in the following order recursively, binary search tree, R, L, that means you are going to the right first, this one, then you are going to the root, then you are going to the left. So the output sequence will be in a binary search tree, whether it will be uh, descending or ascending or by atomic or no specific order. See, binary search tree has something very special. The special thing is the root. The left will be the left members will be less, the right member will be higher, and this will uh, recursively be true for all the left and right subtree also. So when you choose to go to the right, right one, right most, and you choose to uh, follow the right root and left order, then of course you'll be getting the descending order, right? BST is going to right uh, root and left will be of descending order. The pre-order and post-order traversal of a binary tree generates the same output. The pre-order and post-order traversal of binary tree generates the same output. The tree can have a maximum of how many nodes? Can you answer this? The answer would be only one node. Because only one node can give a pre-order and post-order travel of binary tree the same output. Otherwise, it would be different. Now the postfix form of this will be a into b plus c by d. Now you can make a easy uh, expression tree and you can formulate just by postfix. Postfix, you know how postfix is done. First, uh, you will go to the um, the root. Root will be taken last. So the answer would be this one: a b star c d divided plus. Next is let the following circular queue follow. Uh, following can accommodate maximum six. Six elements with the following data. Front is 2, rear is 4, q is equal to what and uh, lmn and this and this. What will happen after add o operation takes place? See, you have a circular queue. Okay, and this can accommodate maximum of six elements. You have a queue with six elements. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are six elements. The front is no, 2 and the rear is 4. Okay, front can be anywhere, for rear can be anywhere. And the Q, what will be, uh, what will happen if we add O or uh, add O operation if you do, because you have L, M, N, so say you have L, uh, L, M, N, N. Now you want to place uh, O, what you're going to get. These are four options for you. Now try to do it and uh, try to find the answer. The answer is because your front has 2, rear has 4. So when you add 0, this will increase by 5, right? This will increase by 5, so it will be front 2, rear 5, right? And now you have L, M, N, now O will be added. So this will be L, M, N, O. So answer would be A. You know, there is no trick here. This is a simple uh, circular cube. Next is a binary tree of depth G is an Almost complete binary tree. If these are four options for you, now please read these two very carefully and answer. A binary tree of depth D is almost complete binary tree. If the answer is both of them, as we expected, because each leaf in the tree is either at level D or at level D minus one. And for any node n in the tree with the right descendant at level D, all the left descendant of n that are leaves are also at level D. So the answer would be both A and B. Next is a linear collection of data elements where the linear node is given by means of a pointer. Is called. So these are options for you. A linear collection collection of data elements where the linear node is given by means of pointer. Is it linked list or any other? The answer is of course linked list because the definition is of linked list only. Next is representation of data structure in memory is known as. Presentation of data structure in memory is known as these are four op options for you. What is the answer? The answer is ADT, abstract data type. Abstract data type is nothing but the mathematical model and set of operations. So you don't talk about the implementation, you talk about 
you might think of mathematical model and what operations can be applied. Like in stack, you can talk about push and pop, right? This is abstracted, right? If the address A11 and A21 are 101010 respectively, and each element occupies two bytes, then the array has been stored in what order? Row major, column major, matrix major, and none of the above. See? A11, first row, first column. A21, second row, and first column. Okay? These are two. I'm not saying, I'm just saying that these two, one is your 1000, one is your 100. This is just a, just a representation. But you have to tell that each element occupies two bytes. So what uh, this array, the formation of array is what? In what order it is stored? Is it row major? It is column major. In row major, we store the row like this one, then this. In column major, we store this, and this, like this. The answer is row major. Because one element is here, the other has to go to two, two, two bytes, and then you have to go to this point. So, first will be like this. The other, the row will start here, second row. This is 1000, zero, 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 this will be, and 1010. Zero, zero, right? Then, an adjacency matrix representation of a graph cannot contain information of what? There are two ways to represent your uh, graph. You can use adjacency matrix, you can use adjacency uh, list. So, adjacency matrix representation of graph cannot represent what? The answer is parallel edges. You cannot represent parallel edges using adjacency matrix. Quick sort is also known as. Quick sort is also known as. The answer is none of these. They are by itself own sorts. One of the major drawbacks of B3 is the difficulty of traversing the keys sequentially, right? Is it true or false? The answer is true because that is why we came up with B plus 3 because in B plus 3 all the leaf nodes are sequentially related also. Order of n linear time is better than order of 1 constant time. So one order of 1 is uh, better or order of 1 is better. Do you, are you going with oh, the order of 1 or order of n? So, can we go to false or any other answer give? You can give or you can suggest the answer is order of 1 is better than order of n, order of n is better than order of n square, order of n square is better than order of n cube. Now, an entity, abstract data type defined to be, as I said, it is a mathematical model of user defined type along with the collection of all uh, dash operations on that model. What are these operations? All dash operations. The answer is primitive operations like insertion, deletion, uh, traversing all these are primitive operations. Next question is an algorithm is made up of two independent time complexities f and ngn. Then the complexity of algorithm is in the order of there are two independent complexities f and ngn. Are you going to combine them? You are going to find the minimum, maximum, or multiply them? The answer is you are going to find out the maximum. The maximum complexity will be uh, considered to be the maximum time that algorithm is going to take because it will take uh, more part in deciding the complexity. The goal of hashing is to produce a search that takes what time? Is it order of one or any other time? The answer is, of course, order of one time. This is the goal of hashing. The best average uh, behavior is shown by. Now we are talking about average, not the worst or the best. Best, uh, the average, best average behavior is, of course, shown by your quick sort. You know, you'll be tempted to answer this word sort, but no. Quick sort is the answer. What is the post form of this? Now, again, on this side of questions, you, have, you really need to take make a expression tree of variables, these uh, variables and these operator and operands. So the answer would be simply, I'll tell you the answer. I hope that you'll do it by yourself, a b plus c d minus star. Time complexities of three algorithms are given. Which should execute this slowest for largest value of n? These are options for you. Can you answer? The answer is of course log n. Log n is the best. Then comes log order of n, then comes order of n to the power 12. So we have taken a few more questions, objective type questions, and we'll be taking more in the later session. Thank you so much. Take care.